At HealthyStuff.org, we first tested garden hoses for hazardous chemicals five years ago in 2011, and again in 2012 and 2013. This year, 2016, we tested 32 hoses from a number of big uh, retailers, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, and Meyer. This is an example of many of the water hoses that we sampled. The body of the hose is made from a vinyl material that contains plasticizers. The other component of the hose that I'd point out is there's also brass fittings and a high percentage of the hoses we tested actually contained uh, a lot of lead. So we know that phthalate plasticizers are used in hose material. Our question was, do these plasticizers actually migrate into the water? We did an experiment where we actually put water into the hose and let it set there for three days, and then we collected a sample uh, from the hose and sent it off to a lab to have it analyzed. Our we have shown in several studies through rigorous lab testing that chemicals in hoses, particularly BPA, phthalates, and lead, uh, can leach into water held in the hoses. So the concern is justified. Well, as, as a grower um, and one who uses organic practices, our primary concern is creating an ecological system where all the members of our ecosystem can be participant members with each other, and part of that is creating a really healthy soil ecosystem, which is the foundation of our whole farm. Realizing that lead and other chemicals might be getting in there leads me to think that you know, there might be a lot of other things that might be coming in from these products. When we are trying to build this ecosystem, which you know is based on this sort of this fragile microbial ecosystem in the soil, uh, we don't want to be bringing in these industrial chemicals into the mix. The good news is that this should be an easy fix. Garden hoses can be made with much safer materials, and some already are. One of the findings from this year's study was that PVC, or vinyl, hoses were much more likely to have chemical contaminants. In particular, we found a great deal of lead, bromine, indicating flame retardants, phthalates, antimony, and tin. There's many actions consumers can take to address these hazards. Number one, avoid PVC. There's flexible polyurethane hoses, natural rubber hoses that are on the market that are good alternatives. Consumers should read the labels on the hose. If it has a California Prop 65 label on it, don't buy it. Never drink from a hose unless it's labeled lead-free or drinking water safe. Anytime you use a hose, you should flush it out before you use it. And don't let water stand in a hose in the sun. Higher temperatures can accelerate the release of chemicals from hose material. And if you have any concerns about your garden, we recommend having your soil tested. It's a good idea to check the nutrition in your soil, but also you can check for other lead hazards that might have been introduced to your soil, like lead paint. For the full garden hose study, go to healthystuff.org.